Hey, what's up YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be discussing how to downgrade from iOS 12 beta one back to Apple's official software being iOS 11. So in this example, I'll be using my iPhone 6. Now I used this device yesterday in quite a few videos to show off iOS 12. So if you guys are interested in any of those, go ahead and check them out. The links will be in the description. Anyway, this phone is running iOS 12 beta 1, and I'll be downgrading it to iOS 11.4, being Apple's latest flagship software. Now, today is the day that Ian Beer may be releasing his exploit for iOS 11.3.1. Regardless, at the time of recording this video, 11.3.1 is still being signed by Apple. So if you see this video in time and intend on jailbreaking your device, you want to downgrade to that software instead of 11.4, which I'll be doing in today's video. Anyway, to start off, we are going to head over to this site. The link will be down in the description. You're going to then want to select your device type, in my case being iPhone, then select your specific device. Again, mine is an iPhone 6. And then lastly, select the iOS 11.4 IPSW file, or if it's still being signed, you can select the iOS 11.3.1 right below it. That is the only part that is different in this tutorial. The rest of the steps will remain the same. Now, while this is downloading, we're going to connect our devices to our computer. Again, I just have mine connected through my dock right here. And then we're going to trust the connection if it prompts you to do so. Lastly, we're going to disable Find My iPhone. Now you can do this within the settings app under your iCloud username, then under iCloud, and then by selecting Find My iPhone and deselecting this little toggle right here. We're going to enter our password and now we're good to perform the restore once Find My iPhone has been disabled. So with all that set and once the download has finished, we're going to head back into iTunes and select our iPhone summary page. Now here we're going to hold Alt on our keyboard, Shift if you're on a Windows based computer and then select restore. Now, if you want to keep your data from iOS 12 and have it remain on iOS 11.4 once the downgrade process is complete, you alternatively are going to select the Check for Updates button. Now, performing the restore using the Check for Updates button can cause your device to be unstable and glitchy, but if you did not archive a backup while on iOS 11, it will be the only option you have if you want to keep your data from iOS 12. But not to fear, if the restore fails here, simply do the process once more, but ensure you click the restore button the second time around. So with that being said, in my case, I don't need to keep any of the data on my phone and I'm running on Mac. Therefore, I'm going to alt click restore, again, shift click restore on Windows. Then when this dialog box comes up, we're going to navigate to the IPS file that we just downloaded, click open and then click restore. And now the downgrade process has begun restoring your device from iOS 12 to iOS 11. Now I'll be right back once the restore process finishes, but to give you guys an idea of how long this is going to take, I will not be cutting anything from this video. So go ahead and skip forward if you want to see the end.
All right, so once your restore has successfully finished, you'll be running your preferred version of iOS 11, in my case, 11.4. Now we can begin to set up our device as normal and or restore it from an archive backup from iTunes. Again, if your backup was created while your device was on a newer version of iOS, you will not be able to use it to restore your data to this older version of iOS. Thus is why archive backups come in handy. Anyway, also on another side note, if you're intending on jailbreaking, if say you downgraded to 11.3.1 while it was still being signed, once you get to this step, I would highly advise you to set up your device from scratch and not restore from a backup. Anyway guys, that is the downgrade process from iOS 12 beta 1 to either iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.3.1 using iTunes. I hope you enjoyed today's quick video on manually downgrading your device. And if this video helped out, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. If you want to see more Apple related tutorials, don't forget to subscribe before you go. But in the end, thank you guys for watching today's video. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out.